Hi guys, so this is my third instalment of my Beautiful Covers series, which I started last year. I have done one edition on hardback books, one on paperback books, and this is going to be the second instalment hardback books, because there's just so many gorgeous hardbacks on my bookshelves that I, I have more to show you. I don't want this introduction to be super long, but if you do want to check out the previous videos in this series, then I'll link them down below and let's get on with the video, shall we? The first is a book that you will have seen a few times recently on my channel. Um, it's come up in my Christmas gift guide and a recent haul, and that is Fairy Tales by Carol Ann Duffy. But how could I not include this? It is one of my new favourites in my collection since I got it. It's um, got these really nice added detail of uh, the little shimmery leaves and then if you look closely enough you can see that there's little eyes peering out of the leaves and it's just really well designed and really well and really detailed. And Carol Ann Duffy is a poet but these are prose retellings of classic fairy tales and it's published by Faber and Faber. As you can also see it is also dust jacketless and not to mention the gorgeous kind of eerie um, mystical font that they've used. The next hardback is actually a graphic novel. I've not shown one of these in uh, one of these videos before, but this has one of the most beautiful graphic novel covers I've seen and owned, and it's Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. Now, lovely selection of colours here, the red, black and white, and this is because these are horror graphic novel stories, so it fits in really well with what's inside. And on the back it does have this nice little pop of blue in this little character here, which is a nice added detail, and on the front you can see close up, there she is again. It's exactly the same underneath, which again I think is really nice because it does mean if you lose a dust jacket you don't need to worry too much. Now obviously this book is just beautiful in general as it is a graphic novel and it is really well illustrated and really eerie. Um, but I do really like Emily Carroll's illustrations. Nice selection of colours inside. But regardless of the inside, just a beautiful cover on the outside and lovely for display. Next thing I'm going to show you, you won't have seen on my channel before because they're very, very recent purchases and they will be in a future haul, spoiler alert. But one is um, part of a collection in which I showed you the other book in, in the last hardbacks video and that is the illustrated edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland illustrated by Camille Rose Garcia. And like I said, I showed you Snow White in the last video and it's in the same fashion, different different colour palette but the same gorgeously weird and creepy illustrations. This one has got more of like a pastel tone um, which is really nice and the illustration travels all the way around so she's actually kind of sprawled out like that. And like Snow White, it's, it's not got as detailed a hardback but it does have this lovely bright pink shimmery A on it and the text on the spine is also pink as well. I know Camille Rose Garcia's illustrations are very kind of hit or miss. Some people love them, some people just not a fan. Personally, I, I really, really like them and luckily enough they continue within the book. We have pages like this with large full page illustrations and little pages like this with little details to the page. And the next to be hauled book is this edition of The Island of Adventure by Enid Blyton. Um, this is a children's book. Enid Blyton is quite famous for The Secret Seven, The Famous Five, um, and a Noddy. Again this is a dust jacketless hardback and it's published by Macmillan Classics. There are a few in these series, different selection of children's books and they're all a different colour and a different repeated illustration on the front. In this one we have a little boy in his boat and his parrot there. I think as well if you owned more than this series it would be lovely because the spines are all a different colour so they'd look lovely lined up together. Next book is The Folk Tales of Scotland by Nora and William Montgomery. Just quite simple and childlike and again I think just gives you an excellent impression of what you're getting yourself in for. Um, I did get this when I was younger, I think it's aimed at children but like with any collection of folk tales and fairy tales there's something that can be enjoyed by all ages I find. These little drawings on the front are by and the back are by Nora and William Montgomery. There's also a few of those scattered inside and like I think any truly beautiful cover it really does maintain um, its beauty across the board from front to back and spine. Now, the last book I'm going to feature in this video is this edition of Frenchman's Creek by Daphne du Maurier. It's a modern classic published by Virago. Again, 
This is a series of books that Virago does where they've published modern classics all with a different tapestry-esque print all over the cover. And there are some other books in this series that I purely just want to buy because they've got such gorgeous prints on them. But this was definitely the one where the plot and um, the book appealed to me the most, so I went for this one. I quite like that this is also just the size of your average paperback. It's not oversized like a lot of hardbacks are, so it's quite nice and petite. It's quite simple, it's just got uh, like the addition of the white with the name here that matches with the little panel on the front. I just think this is quite like a classic and timeless design. But those are all the books I had to show you today. I am sure I will find more to show you in the future, probably another paperbacks before I do another hardbacks. We'll just kind of alternate like that. But if you've filmed any of these videos since um, I did my first one, then please let me know. I love looking at gorgeous covers. And in the meantime, have a lovely week. Bye guys.